One of the things that you know both of you talk about is you know just uh, become who you want to attract. Yeah. So something that um, would be a good example to explain this, and it's very visual because we see it on social media all the time. Got to be at least six feet tall and make six figures, and he's got to have a nice car and a nice house. But yet they don't take care of themselves. They don't work, a, you know, this great job. They don't make six figures a year, you know, and. The, it, they are the, they can be the opposite of what they want from someone. Well, you're not becoming like you're not becoming someone that would attract someone like that because you have to show them because driven people are attracted to driven people. You know, because the, um, there's a meme I saw once that said like the, this girl was dating some like older wealthy man and she was like hardly getting by and he said. Um, would you be able to uh, date someone that was making less money than you and didn't have any real driver um, aspirations? And she answered, oh my gosh, no way. I could never date someone like that. And then he said, well, you realize you are the one, you are the person that does not make that much money and does not have the aspirations. So it's kind of like that, you know, you have to be able to mirror what you expect from someone because, you know, if you just go out there and you hope to find this great person, well, you're not going to find some you know, woman or man that's, you know, a CEO and driven and has good, you know, moral compass and has a nice house or whatever you're looking for, if material things are your thing. You're not going to find that if you're the one that's hanging out on a bar four days a week, you know, working, you know, part time job, just getting by and things like that. So it's that's where I feel like taking care of yourself um, mentally, physically, emotionally is so important. And that's not a selfish act. People want to say it's selfish. And I feel when they say that, that's almost a cop out. Like, oh, I don't want to do that because it's selfish if I go work out or if I go buy healthy food, it's going to be selfish or whatever. So mm -hmm. it's investing in yourself in all areas because, you know, how nice is it to have a conversation with someone that's on your level? Otherwise, you feel like you're always talking down to someone or they're talking over your head if it's vice versa. So mm. it's becoming what you want to see in someone. So if you want someone that's driven, motivated, you know, has a business or maybe an entrepreneur, you need to healthy. become those things. Healthy, yeah. healthy. Oh yeah, healthy. Yeah, healthy right. in shape, takes care of themselves. All of that you have to become that before you can ever attract that. Because like, let's see here, what are you gonna do? Like, if you want to meet that person, why would you not become that person? Because that what you want to reflect. Because if you're wanting someone that's a driven individual in business, works out, takes care of themselves. Well, guess what? If you guys are both in the same arena of you being a high um, level person in either in your company or you own a company, hey, if there's networking events, you might meet that person there. You're at the gym working out, taking care of yourself. You might meet the person that's taking care of themselves there. So it's not only just attracted you want, it's like that's probably where you're gonna end up meeting these people at as well. Wow.